Hi, Whitney Ebert here, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about grit. What is grit and why it's really important that we are trying to foster and promote grit with our kids. If you're unfamiliar with the term grit, grit is spelled G-R-I-T, and it is a term that was created by Angela Duckworth, a psychologist. And basically what grit is, is how she describes it as perseverance and passion for long-term goals. And so perseverance we know means keep going, keep trying, just even when things are tough, they just keep, keep going. And then passion, something that they care about, something that they're interested in. Now, I have a question. So do your kids give up easily if they are faced with a difficult challenge? Because I'm telling you, just today, my son, so Brewer, oh my gosh. So today he uh, was got one of those STEM boxes that come in the mail and he was so excited to get the STEM box he was like, let's open it, let's do it, let's do it. And I don't always love the STEM boxes because let's face it, it's usually me doing it and not always him. So I said, okay, Brewer, we can totally do the STEM box, but you just need to figure out how to open the box. And about two minutes later, he was like, mm, no, I don't know how to, I, I, I can't figure this out. And I said, oh my gosh, it's been like two minutes. Like you should be able to figure out how to open a STEM, like how to open the box. And he's just like, I can't, I can't, can you help me? And so obviously he's not showing any grit because he really wanted to do this. It was something he was passionate about, yet he wasn't persisting and trying to open it. So I told him, I said, okay, I will help you open it in 20 minutes. So you can try for 20 minutes. If you still don't have it, then I'll help you. And so sure enough, he actually did. We set the timer for 20 minutes and he tried. And after 20 minutes, I still didn't go over there and do it for him. I said to him, I said, okay, so like, what about this tape here on the bottom? Did you try cutting that? And so he cut the tape and he was able to open the stem box and he got in, but this is exactly, and I started talking to him a little bit about grit because he obviously was not showing it today. But anyway, why is grit important? And one of the biggest things is these skills, being able to take on challenges, to work really hard and keep trying and keep going even when things are tough, those are shown to really show a child's like future long-term success and happiness. And I don't know about you, but I'm totally hoping that my kids are successful and happy in life. That's like really what I want. So I do think that these skills are important. It also, through grit, it teaches so many other skills. It teaches growth mindset, the idea that they can work hard to get better at something. Um, the idea of, you know, perseverance, just to keep trying, resilience, to get back up after they fall and like keep working on it. As an elementary school teacher, unfortunately, I see so many kids now that do not show these skills at school all the time. I mean, kids just give up so easily. And I think it's a really big problem. And I think it's something that I know that I really wanna work on with my child while he's young. And I wanna help other parents with young kids start working on these skills early so that you can hopefully instill them in your children and be able to practice them and foster them so that when they are in school and they're in you know fifth, sixth, seventh grade, they're not just giving up on assignments. Let me talk to you about a couple of ways that you can help your child to build grit or to promote grit with your child. Number one, let them do things for themselves. So for instance, with that stem box that Brewer could not open today, you know, letting him do it, I said, I know you can do it. And so he knew that I believed in him, like it was something that I knew he could do and he was capable of. Where if you're a kind of parent that is always like, oh here, just let me do it. Cause let's face it, it's way faster and easier if we just do it ourselves. But if you're the kind of parent that always does it, then they're not they're not getting that, that like feeling that, feeling of confidence that you believe in them. It's actually the opposite. They just think, oh, they think I'm not capable, so I'm not gonna try. You can also help them to find their passions, help them to understand like, what are you interested in? What do you wanna get better? What do you wanna learn? And talk to them about that. I was kind of surprised because I, I talked to Brewer about that a couple months ago and we said like, what are some of your passions and your interests? And we wrote them down. And at first it was kind of hard for him to come up with things. And then as we kind of got rolling, then there was so many, but it was very, it was very awesome to have him, you know, start to think about things that he's interested in and even know that that's important because some, you know, what's mattering to him is really important. It's also setting reasonable goals, coming up with things that are going to help them to feel successful. So small goals like Brewer, what he had said he really wanted to learn how to do was to draw a car. So we said, 
let's pick some smaller, that's a good goal. Like that's a nice goal that he can actually achieve and feel success with. So if he is setting a goal for uh, being able to draw a car, then we came up with a plan. Well, what are some small steps that he can take to reach that goal? And so that's kind of a, a way to help your child start really talking about goal setting and, and coming up with plans. Also teaching your child positive self-talk so that they understand that, you know, it's, you know, the, kind of the idea of yet, you know, I can't do it yet. And some other things that are gonna help them have a positive mindset. mindset. So positive self-talk. Encouraging your children to keep trying. A huge part of grit is that that tenacity that they're gonna just keep trying and perseverance and persevering and even when things are tough and checking in with them and encouraging them and really number, like one of the most important things is praising effort over ability. So not saying, oh wow, you're so smart. Saying, wow, I really like how hard you're working and how hard you're trying. And finally, modeling this for your your child. You know, be the model. Show them, hey, like if, if you really want to instill grit in them, you also be the model and you model it for them as well. So just a quick recap, let your child do things for themselves, find their passions, set reasonable goals, teach your child some positive self-talk, encourage them to keep trying, and praise process over ability and finally be the model for them. So, all right, I think I kind of covered most of it that I wanted to talk with you about today. Oh, we just finished our five-day challenge that we set up and it's how to build grit in your child. And no, I don't think you can build grit in five days, but you can start promoting grit with our five-day challenge. And we give you little printables and I give a little video where I talk you through like the step for each day. It's really manageable. We set it up for like a busy parent just to do it like for five minutes with your child. So if you are interested in doing some, the five day challenge, how to build grit in your child, um, I actually put the link in the caption and it's at blimeybox.com backslash grit challenge. And I'd love for you to head on over and sign up and do our little challenge. All right. I hope you're having a great Monday and I will talk to you soon. I can hear my kids stomping around. They're probably coming to get me. So, all right.